Right, a kettle cost 73.95 in 2016. Last year it cost 68.95. What was the percentage change in price? When dealing with percentages, the first thing you ever ask yourself is what must my answer look like? Is my answer money or is it a percentage? Right, my answer is a percentage. As soon as I have an answer that is a percentage, I ask myself two questions. Is it like writing a test mark as a percentage? If you get 32 out of 50, how do you change that to a percentage? You times by 100, and that will give you a percentage which will be 64%. Is this one price out of another? No. So then we go to the other, the other form of percentage calculations. And this one is always the most difficult one. And a way to remember it is you say, oh, no, but yes, I can do it. Okay. Percentage can be written like that. So what you are going to do, you are going to say no. New minus old over old times by 100%. I'm doing it in yellow because you can't see it. That is a unit. It is not part of your calculation. Right, so now you have to go to your little explanation and you've got to find two values which is the oldest so over here we're going to go percentage change and this is a really mean one we are tricked it's not telling you it's an increase or a decrease calculate the percentage increase or decrease but you know by looking at your price that the price become more or less expensive it was more expensive. Okay, so percentage change equals new minus old over old. And I like to write old underneath so you remember times 100%. This is your unit. Right, what is the new price? What is the latest price? of the kettle. Good. It's 73 Rand 95. What is the old price? 6895. I need to write this one underneath. So I'm going to have 68 Rand 95. That's just as a little check for yourselves. Times by a hundred percent and I've written it in yellow because it is not part of your calculation right what is 73 minus 68 73.95 minus 68.95 this will give me 5 rand 5 rand over 68 Rand 95, I multiply by 100%, but that is a unit, out with your calculator, and you will land up with 7,2516, and so on. Don't forget your unit, it is a percentage. How many places do we round percentage off to? We can do one or two. I'm going to do one decimal place. Remember, when we round, we have to round to one decimal place. I look at the neighbor. If it is five or more, I'm going to add one to the previous column. And everything else gets ignored. So that is going to be 7, 
0.3%. Go back to your question. Does it answer your question? What was the percentage change in price? The percentage change in price was 7,3%.